My name is Mickey Willis. I'm a father, a husband, and an investigative filmmaker. I was raised in California by a single mom who did her best to care for four children on her own. As a child of the welfare state, I witnessed firsthand what happens to the psyche and spirit of those who become dependent on government assistance. Mom remained single and lonely until the day she passed, at 58 years young. Her life was cut short by a combination of toxic cancer treatments and grief. Just 34 days before she passed, her first son, my brother, was killed by a drug called AZT. Hundreds of thousands of innocent people died as a result of that prescribed poison. The pusher of AZT was none other than Dr. Anthony Fauci. The reason that only one drug has been made available, AZT, because it's the only drug that has been shown to be safe and effective. Well, it's certainly nice to know that the future looks brighter. 30 years later, there he was again. Same script, same actors, same performance. These are safe and effective products. Knowing what that man had done in the 80s and 90s, I couldn't believe he was still in a position of such power. As the world descended into synchronized tyranny, I began to ask myself, how did they get everyone to go along with this? Oh, it feels so good. I know. <laughs> Obsessed with finding the answer, I began studying every moment in recorded history where masses of people devolved into a state of self-destruction. Down that rabbit hole was where I discovered the work of G. Edward Griffin. Since the 1960s, Mr. Griffin has been warning the world of the communist plot to overtake America. Yes, I know. Communism. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. That thing we've all been told fell with the Berlin Wall. 